With Arsenal having a mini injury crisis going into the January transfer window, I thought it'd be a good time to look at one signing that they need to make in this window. With the title race hotting up, it is important that they get this window right. And I believe if you want a ready-made player, then Amadou Onana is the best shout for Arsenal in this window. And here's why. First of all, there's going to be a lot of discussions of what positions Arsenal actually need. Now, I think that they probably need another defender and you could argue a striker, but I'm not really sure if I like buying in a striker or a real attacker in January. However, I have suggested Jimenez before from Feyenoord in one of my other videos and I've suggested a few other players. But now with the recent news coming out that Arsenal are linked with Amadou Anana, I think he would generally be the perfect option for this club. Now first you're going to be thinking where is he going to fit into the team. Now I would think he would fit into that left centre mid role or as a backup DM for Rice. But he'd honestly probably just replace Pai who looks like he's going to be leaving the club soon. I will say Onana is not perfect but I don't think anyone you're really going to get is. You have to mould them and see how they play in your system. Now, now, I like him because he is six foot four and he is a massive part of Everton's success this season. He adds to the physicality that we were already been gaining in that midfield, and I do think he would most likely rotate with Havertz because people don't have a set position. I've said this before in another video where every game Arteta will change it depending on who we are playing against. And Arteta has said multiple times that he loves winning duels, it's one of the biggest things he feels like, and Onana is an absolute monster at winning them. For example, the game against Burnley where Everton won 2 0 last week, he won 11 duels and lost three that is a crazy amount and in most of them out of 14 and on average he's winning in two and a half aerials a game which is a very good average to have and it's been going up higher and higher per game recently he is also a pretty good tackle monster he makes around two to three tackles per game and one interception per game which is very good and if you want to tackle i think he's a much better option than polinia overall anana has also played as an eight most of his career using it to be progressive and usually help the other attackers but traditionally he is really a ball winning six slash eight hybrid he does do a lot of that ball winning you want to see from a six. I think at Arsenal he would play as a six, making his role even better. Maybe moving Rice into that eight role so he can progress the ball a bit more. He's also a very physical player and I think when you pair him next to someone like Declan Rice, I think it's quite an easy progression for Arsenal to get outside of the box and start progressing through the pitch. I think Rice and Odegaard can help with that progression and help get the ball mostly there. And when you've got a tough away game at some of the big opponents in the league, such as, you know, Liverpool this weekend, I think Onana and Rice as a back two would be a very good solid defence. It's a much better option and then Jorginho has been playing there in some of the games and honestly that cover probably wins you leagues or wins you championships at least and I know people will say well it's not attacking enough it's not progressive enough but there is a lot of progression still there Rice has shown that he can be it he's shown that he can probably play as an eight mostly and he's very been good there this season and you would still have that cover from Odegaard coming back and some other players trying to come in and help such as an inverted fullback sort of helping the play go up the pitch it also gives a bit of help for Declan Rice so he's not just in a single pivot by himself and also it's like what we would have done with party anyway I feel like if we didn't try that in third right back system because we had injuries and he is prem proven he's been very good for Everton the last few years despite their on and off form and this season they've been much better and he has been a big part of that him and Decore work brilliant in midfield they're both physical very big tall people and they do the crunch work for Everton a lot of people have been talking about how his stats don't really help with that progressive passing but I also think he has got the ability to do that he plays for Everton who are very non-possession side based even in games where they're playing like Bournemouth at home they just tend not to have the possession and sort of play set pieces and counter-attack and long ball football. This is typical Sean Dyche and it seems to work for them very well and I don't think this is anything bad but this obviously means that Onana is going to have a transitional period when he plays for a team that are much better and a lot more progressive and a lot more attacking. But when he played for Lille he was more of an actual normal eight and he actually was very much very better for them in a different way. He played fast and was shown technical skilled level and he was obviously had that tool and strength and the brilliant tackling level he still had but he was a bit more creative and he's actually been very good at progressive for these teams. So when he was in Liga 1, he was very good on that half space in the little gaps between the midfield and defence, receiving the ball and doing a half turn to set the ball up forward to go and give the attackers more of a chance to score. He also showed very much good progression out to the left and right wing and it didn't seem very afraid to try and get the ball to them. But I will say he's not necessarily a confident passer. He has got better in the last few years at Everton, but when he was a Lille, he weren't at a brilliant level and did get a bit worried about doing these hard, long passes. But he compensates with that by actually being really good at running with the ball. He's very good on that half turn run it very good at getting past players and just making that run and it's very much like Declan Rice but Declan Rice would be so good at that passing as well and I think it gives another defensive level. Onana has shown that he is definitely a very good prospect when he was younger and he's still a very young player. He's physically gifted, he's a fearless defender and he's boasts robust technical ability and he's made an impressive impact in the Premier League for Everton since he signed. I don't think he's perfect and I don't think he would start every single game for Arsenal but I don't think any player that you would buy right now would start every game for Arsenal. I do think the players that play now would get 
get game time. And in some games where Arsenal want to have that bit of height in there, a bit of forward play, they would probably still play Havertz in that left centre mid role. But if you're a bit worried about some of the counter attacking and teams that have a ball a lot, say in the Champions League or in other big games in the league, then Onana would definitely play and it would definitely be a great defensive block. And personally, I think if you want someone in to do a great impact straight away, I know there is a bit of transition there with the different systems, but he will be given time and given a lot more freedom with the players around and there'll be a lot more patience for him because a lot of teams will be playing a low block against Arsenal, so he probably will have more time than he does at Everton. The issue is, obviously, he is very important to Everton. He's very important to how they play. Him and Decore are probably their most key players in that team to try and get them better. And I think Sean Dyche would definitely not want to get rid of one of his tallest and most physical players. However, Everton do have sort of money issues, so there definitely would be a bargaining deal there. But I still think it would probably cost around 50 mil, which is a lot of money, I know, in January. But I've seen reports that Arsenal want to bring in two midfielders, one in January potentially and one in the summer to try and get rid of their El Nene, Jorginho party and try and replace them because they are a bit old. And I do think we're even going to try and get two different types of midfielders. I think we'll probably get a pass first all phase eight, which is someone that will just get the ball and just pass it straight away, usually having great progressive numbers. For example, someone like Zuba Mendy, who I did a video about, or someone who is probably just a ball winning midfielder who can sit as a six and help Rice progress with the eight. And, you know, he could do the progression in the passing. And I think that is someone like Onana would be perfect for that role. There is other options though. I've seen a lot of people talk about Wiffer from Feyenoord, who I definitely think would be a lot cheaper. But obviously I did have another video on a Feyenoord player and it might not be the best experience in their league. He's also 24, which is two years older than Onana and obviously hasn't played in the Prem. And he isn't like a stationary six. He is more of that ball winning eight that a lot of people don't seem to realise. And he's actually very similar to Onana than more people even have noticed. He also isn't ready for that single pivot role. He plays in a double pivot and he is not the most defensive out of them. So he would still need a lot of defensive cover. If you put him with Rice, he would be the most defensive one out of them. And I don't think that would be very good for him. So I don't think he's necessarily set up for us right now. But long term, he is a good player. I also think if you're looking in the summer, someone like Palacios from Bayer Leverkusen would be a perfect shout. This guy is that blend of that six to eight ball winning midfielder but he's also a pass first player who looks to progress the ball and does very good passing and Palacios might be the perfect option but with Arsenal needing two midfielders and it's been reported they're probably going to look for two I think he should be in the summer because he's not viable in January because Bayer Leverkusen are on cusp of a historic double however I do have a more of a rating of these two players over Whiffer because I have seen him play a lot more than them but he still may be a good option I just think right now it's probably not the best and everything does depend on the money Arsenal are willing to pay I do think there's a lot of players that we could buy in this window that could be very important it just depends how much money we are winning how much we get for players that we sell but let me know what you think about Onana and any of the midfield options I have said and let me know who you wanted to play in that left centre mid role slash DM role for Arsenal for the remainder of the season or the start of next season speaking of Arsenal midfielders if you want to watch my video about the legend himself Declan Rice that I did yesterday please go and watch that and please subscribe and like if you like any of my content thank you for watching